Hello, I am Evers. If you don't know me, I am a classically trained percussionist. I am a more advanced drummer, just a more expanded uh, drummer for those of you that think of drums. And uh, the hobby of creating music in digital digital audio workstations such as FL Studio has become such a nice hobby of mine when I'm not in front of my instruments. And my goal is to help you learn the craft of creating music. So this is season one, episode one of five minutes to better mastery of FL Studio. And I can't wait to see what this series brings. I'm My goal is 10 episodes in a series and a season but we'll see how it goes and the goal is to get more in depth as we go on but right now we're talking basic because the goal is you should probably not know much at this point so fl studio if you go online to the website downloading is very is very straightforward whether you have mac or pc they make it very easy for the setup and when you open it it should look something like like this all right, so we're gonna be talking about sounds. Specifically, we're talking about sound files today. So I'm gonna show you how to import sound files, and I'm also gonna show you how to use them to uh, at least create something. So we're gonna create like a, lo a little, little beat uh, to show the example of actually getting the sounds into, into the system so where you can hear it and everything like that. All right, so if you look over here to the left, you will see three little icons. The first one is your sound files icon. It most likely will already be here and it would only look different if you decided to click on something else, but I just want to be, you know, better safe than sorry. If you scroll down all this stuff, I've, I never use, I literally I've, I've probably never clicked on it. And this one that says sounds, this is actually something I imported. And if I click on it, you will see main kits, new kits and stuff like that. So I just decided I, this is a main folder. I have another folder and I, that's just how I, I, I make categories of my, of my uh, sample packs. So these are all drum packs, right? So if you have a sounds folder and you just have drum packs in it, you'll just see, you'll probably just see your, your folders there. I just have them categorized in, in another folder. So this main kits, and then you see, uh, for example, this first one, Ninth Wonder Drum Kit. I'm pretty sure I was able to download this one for free online. Ninth Wonder Drum Kit, and then you see claps, cymbals, hi-hats, kicks, right? So if I get on here, these are all the kick drum files, right? Same thing with hi-hats, same thing with cymbals. And all I did was I downloaded this Ninth Wonder Drum Kit and then I went through the process I'm about to show you in order to import it. All right, so here's what you need to do. All right, go up here to Options, File Settings, and this is where I routed it to. So you're gonna find it in your desktop or uh, in your computer and you're gonna find the folder and then you're going to tell, basically tell FL Studio where to find the folder and then you'll see it on the side like you do now. So I'm gonna create another sounds. So click on this folder right here. And wait, all right. So you see here, this is, uh, this is just my, uh, this live saver is my external hard drive. And then I go over here, sounds, and this is the folder I told FL Studio that I want to open. You can go to, I go sound, see this is the folder I was talking, other folders I was talking about, main kits and ninth wonder. If I just open ninth wonder, it will say, okay, ninth wonder is going to be on the side. But I wanted to make sure the main folder so I can access any of the drum samples that I decide to put in. So for example, sounds, go back, go back, sounds. And then if I press open, there's a second one over here. Press on sounds, main kits, ninth wonder, my claps and stuff like that. And that's that's how you route sounds. So what I suggest doing is creating in your documents and your on your computer, creating a main source, right? Just label it sounds like something super simple. Don't get don't get complicated with this. And then 
after you download the uh, the drum pack, the sample pack, put it into that folder. So you have a nice progression. It, organize it inside that folder if you want, but I recommend a main folder and then route it like I just did. Now there are plenty of free drum kits out there, sample packs, there's plenty of free ones. Be careful where you're downloading them from, but there's plenty of free ones. And this is how you can get started. And that's how you get sound files into FL Studio and you start creating. I'll see you in the next episode. Yeah, Evers, I... hit him with another one. We're going to just do eighth notes. Da, 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 da. But let me show you something else.